What's up guys, in this video I will guide you on how to connect your laptop to your Skyward TV wirelessly without HDMI. So by the end of this video, you should be able to mirror your laptop screen to your Skyward TV, whether it's the Skyward Android, the Skyward Google TV, or even the older models of Skyward TV. This video is going to work out pretty well for you. And to achieve this, first things first, you want to come over to your Skyward TV. And on your Skyward TV, first things first, you want to make sure that your Skyward TV is connected to your Wi-Fi or your hotspot network. So from the home of your Skyward TV, you just want to head over to the settings, open up the settings, and then you just want to locate the network and internet settings. So come over here, select network and internet settings. And then at this point, make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on like mine over here, and then proceed to connect to your Wi-Fi or your hotspot network. Now, the next thing you want to do is to come over to your laptop and then on your laptop, you want to also make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network like your Skyward TV. So at the bottom of my laptop over here, you can literally see the network and internet settings. I'll go ahead and select that and then make sure I also connect to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network as you can see. Now, once both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network, there are basically two ways you can proceed to connect your laptop to your Skyward TV. The first method is to basically use the screencast feature of your browser so come over to your laptop and then locate any browser of your choice you can use the microsoft edge browser or the google chrome browser i'll be using the google chrome browser over here and then you want to just come over to the three dots icon usually at the top of the right hand side of your browser you should also be able to find this on the microsoft edge browser open up the three dots icon and then just scroll downwards until you find the cast option at the bottom you can literally see we have the cast save and share option go ahead and click on the cast if you navigate to the left hand side you can literally see cast option over here if you're using the microsoft edge browser the cast my device option is literally under the more tools option on this menu from the microsoft edge browser now once you get to this page you just want to go ahead and click on cast and automatically your browser will start to search for available devices it can actually be connected to at this point you can literally see the name of my skyward tv over here but before you select the name of your skyward tv click on the source icon and then make sure you select cast screen and not the cast tab option now once you're done just go ahead and select the name of your skyward tv and automatically your laptop will be connected to your skyward tv and even if you close the google chrome browser at this particular point it is still going to work out pretty well for you the same thing actually goes with the microsoft edge browser as well and as you can see this works absolutely well without any problem but if the first method does not work out for you or it is just too slow for you to connect your laptop to your skyward tv using that particular method another method you can try is to basically use the screencasting or screen mirroring feature of your laptop again you want to make sure that both your laptop and your skyward tv are connected to the same wi-fi and then just press the shortcut windows plus k and this will actually open up the screencasting feature at the right hand side of your laptop if it does not work out for you you can just go over to the windows icon at the left hand side of your laptop open up the settings from over there and then just go over to the system settings go over to display and then at the bottom over here you should be able to find the connect to a wireless display option go ahead and select that and automatically your laptop will start to search for available devices it can actually connect to now keep in mind that this does not always work it works for some tvs and it actually does not work for some tvs but if it actually works for your tv you should be able to find the name of your tv from the list of devices over here if this method actually works out for you you can as well go ahead and use your skyward tv as a second screen for your laptop so at the bottom you should be able to see the option to set your skyward tv as an extended display making it a second screen for your laptop if this tutorial was helpful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one